Welcome to the Daily Reset on 1st April 2024. Today, we begin quarter two of 2024. Quarter two is here, which means we've already lived three months of this year. We've lived a quarter of this year. We start the second part, and this can be a new beginning. Regardless of what happened in January, February, March, this can be a new beginning. And unfortunately, we started on Fool's Day, but don't let this fool you. The second quarter has actually started. The Daily Reset is our opportunity to start each new day as if it was a new opportunity to do something different. I love to say that life is not a continuous line. It is cyclic. Every year has 12 months. At the end of the year, we start a new year. Every month has 30 or 29 or 31 days. At the end of the month, we start a new month. Every day has 24 hours. At the end of the 24 hours, we start a new day. Every hour has 60 minutes. At the end of 60 minutes, we start a new hour. Every minute has 60 seconds. So life is cyclic. Life is a series of cycles, such that the cycle I had in 2011 doesn't have to show up in 2012. The cycle I had in 2018 doesn't have to show up in 2019. The cycle I had in 2023 doesn't have to show up in 2024. The cycle I had in January, February, March does not have to show up in April 2024. But today, I can begin a new cycle with a new vision, a new goal, a new level of intention, a new level of determination, a new direction. It's, a new op it's an opportunity to start over. Even if today is a full day, it's still an opportunity to start over. Our process in the daily reset is anchored on this precept. And it's always important, I find, it's always important to have a principle or a precept or a phrase that anchors you, that becomes the convergent point for all your faculties through a certain season, especially when you're going through a certain season. Find a verse or a, a quote or a paragraph from a book, something that inspires you, something that, that, that becomes the focus point to which you keep thinking. So this is what we are using, intentionality. Intentionality, which is the creative principle that we are utilizing during the daily reset. Utilizing intentionality to create a new day every single time we meet here. Intentionality gives me the power to embody the identity God designed for me. We have been going through this principle deeply. And today we look at the word designed. And instead of doing it the way we usually do it, I wanted us to borrow from my newest book, Embody. And I will specifically take as those of you who have already have the copy of the book, it makes it very easy for you. Uh, if we can find the final chapter, and yes, we should be starting with the first chapter, but for the purpose of today, to align with uh, what we are looking at, we go to the final chapter. Final chapter of this book is Embody a Clear blueprint embody a clear blueprint and i will i want to be able to read the entire chapter i'm going to read just two paragraphs i will read the introductory paragraph and maybe i will read i will read the second last paragraph too so the first paragraph if you don't have the book you just listen if you have the book of course you can read along with me so the first paragraph of chapter 20 whose title is embody a clear blueprint Intentional living is like the meticulous process of translating an elaborate blueprint into a tangible edifice. Just like a builder turns a blueprint into reality, you can use intentionality to create your desired life. This chapter explores how you can transform intentions into thoughts, choices, and actions powerful enough to manifest your desired life. Like building a house brick by brick, from foundation to finish, embodying deliberate intention is an incremental process of learning, applying, and refining daily. We go to the second last paragraph of this chapter because we don't have enough time to read the entire chapter. Life's great paradox is this. Your life is concurrently a work in progress and a complete masterpiece. 
Living by a clear life blueprint is a dynamic journey aligning your time, energy, and attention. As you design your life blueprint, celebrate small and big victories. Welcome the challenges each day brings to test, train, and toughen you. Your life experience's totality is your masterpiece to mold, master, and manifest. This chapter is about how to live your life based on a clear blueprint. The first question is, do you have a life blueprint? Do you have a guiding set of principles, a clear, tangible document by which you are living your daily life? Or are you making it as you go along? When we say that intentionality gives me, gives you the power to embody the identity God designed for me, Embodying is creating, making something tangible. When builders build, they build based on a blueprint that was created by an architect. If you and I are living to create a building based by the architectural design that God designed for us, it means we must have that blueprint. We must keep seeking wisdom so that we infer the deepest, highest, most refined blueprint so that we live based on that blueprint. That is how we begin living by design rather than by default. And when we begin to live by design, then we are truly utilizing intentionality to give us the power to embody that identity, that architectural design that was already created for us. And that is the reason why we meet during the daily reset to keep seeking what is the highest, most refined, most advanced, truest architectural design for the kind of life I'm supposed to live, the kind of legacy I'm supposed to create, the kind of trail I'm supposed to leave behind. Because once each day is gone, it is gone. Our chance today is to do the most we can. If we can do 100%, fantastic. If we did 60% yesterday, today is our opportunity to do 61% in pursuit of that design that was created for us. Do you have a blueprint? Or are you making it as you go along? Are you living by design? Or are you living by default? As we move on to the daily reset, those who are new to this process, the daily reset entails those five pillars. Having clear responses, that you carry with you throughout the day, regardless of how yesterday went, that you approach this day as a new gift, a new present, a new opportunity to play the game at a higher level, to embrace your next level by living intentionally according to each of these areas. And you will specify once we are done with the presentation segment, what do you permit yourself to experience, to do, to have, to feel, to notice? What is your intention. Your intention is to, and that word to is not just a filler word, it's extremely important. What is your focus? What are you claiming? Are you claiming freedom? Are you claiming clarity? Are you claiming discernment so that you can discover your life blueprint? What are you releasing? What burden, what destruction, what pain, what baggage? Can you take a small piece of it and release it today? And the more you confess that you are releasing it and emotionally commit that you are releasing it, the easier it will actually become for you to truly release it. Which brings us to this active segment called Run the Tapes. When we do Run the Tapes between day to day, we just look at the previous day. When we do it week to week, we look at the previous week. Today, we are at the beginning of a new month. So it's your opportunity right now to proceed immediately. Write down a couple of responses. You will complete this process after this session is done. But can you begin right now to run the tapes for March? How well, how well during the month of March did you direct master and command your life? Did you direct your intentions, master your focus and command your actions? 
It's your opportunity to begin that process to allow your consciousness to begin to, to bring to mind some of the scenes and events and scenarios that happened during the month of March. It's your opportunity to reflect, to look back and bring to mind those events, those opportunities, those scenarios. How well did you direct, master, and command your life in the month of March? How well did you wield your self-control? I will keep encouraging you so that over the next two minutes, you can complete that piece. How well did you direct, master, and command your life in the month of March? How well did you wield, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well did you wield your self-control? Not just when things are smooth, but especially when things are not smooth, when you are tired, when you're hungry. How well... Did you wield your self-control when you felt uncertain and fearful and sure? When you felt stretched? When you are being bombarded with questions and demands? When you are angry and hungry, which makes for a really bad combination we call it hungry. <laughs> How well did you direct master and command your life and was all this directing mastering commanding based on your response by default or your response by design aligned to a bigger vision to what which you are living or just responding to the present pressures present moment demands you will continue to do that segment especially after we are done, as long as you have started the process of running the tapes. In the moment we are living through most experiences, sometimes we don't have sufficient bandwidth to really digest those experiences. Especially when you think of a whole month, a lot can happen in a month. The beginning of this month, the next two, three, four days, would be an amazing opportunity for you to reflect on, to think about, to replay important scenes that happened in the month of March, so that you can squeeze out some of the lessons. You can surprise yourself by what kind of insights you are able to derive from the month of March. I'm hoping that you have made some progress with responding to this component. This is one of the most important components of the daily reset that we do, running the tapes. This is the foundation of creating greater self-awareness, noticing how we respond, especially in circumstances where things are not as smooth as we would like them to be. And once you have done that, this is now our opportunity to create emotional dissonance, to notice the areas where we were failing and really realize that in those circumstances, we were surrendering to external forces and limiting beliefs, and we were allowing ourselves to be held back. So this is something to verbalize, to intentionally verbalize. And today, you will just have that one sentence at the bottom. I'm going to hide my video so that you can have access to the full sentence. So the first part, the first two sentences, you do not say them with affirmation. You are not trying to leave them out. In the past, I felt powerless. I allowed external forces and limiting beliefs to hold me back. You are acknowledging. We have to acknowledge the truth. When we deny the truth, we essentially delude ourselves. And then after that, you will proceed with verbalizing the rest of it and verbalize it with strength, with determination. Yet today, I am seizing back my power. You find a way to make it really resonant. If whatever gesture you need to do, this is something that only probably 0.0001% of the population does. And I promise you, oh my goodness, I promise you, this by itself, if you do it and you truly feel it, 
it will change everything. So please go ahead. Don't mind my voice. I'm just speaking in the background to make sure you don't close off. It is 5, 5 50 in the morning. <laughs> I have to keep you awake. So please go ahead and verbalize it on your end. Oh, verbalize it. The first two sentences are said with almost with detachment. And then when you get to today, I am seizing back my power today. I am determined to direct my intentions, master my focus, and take command of my actions. And the final one, I am determined. I am determined to shape my reality with purpose. And where purpose means blueprint, means clear intention that is already predefined, realizing that the purpose you're pursuing is trying to align with the highest possible definition of what kind of life you want to live, what kind of trail you want to create and leave behind. I hope you are verbalizing it because in another 30 seconds, we will move to the next segment. We keep it up because we're in a new season. Entering into a new stretch and we are not just waltzing in, we are walking in with purpose, walking in, ready to seize back our power, to direct intentions, master focus and command actions. Leaving on purpose. We'll move on to the next segment. You can always revisit this part. It's now time for you to project the day. Project the day. Imagine you were waking up this morning, but you have actually already lived this day and you lived it so magnificently. Please write down five different things that you did today and you did them differently. This is how you harvest the power of intention so that whatever you see at the end of the day allows you to practice what Stephen Covey calls begin with the end in mind. Whatever, if, if you can conceive that you, if you had lived today, perhaps this is how you could have lived it. It means you have the capacity to live it like that. And this is your opportunity now to project it with intention. Because if you do, you empower yourself with the capacity to live it like that. So imagine you have already lived today. How did you live it? See it mentally and spiritually and receive it, not just verbally, but emotionally. And as you write those things down, verbalize them. Just say them so that you can hear them. What did you do? How did you show up? How did you treat yourself when you had a presentation to make? How did you do it? When you had people to meet, how did you meet them? Was it with confidence or was it with self-doubt? How did you view yourself? How did you carry yourself? How did you execute your most important priorities today? You are beginning with the end in mind, establishing it as though it has already happened. I hope you are able to jot down a couple of those in readiness to taking the next step. This day is not just starting, it's already lived. And if you leave it, if you already leave it, you are essentially creating a future memory because the past memory is just an illusion, something to a future memory. Instead of just living by the past illusion, why don't you create another balancing illusion for the end of the day? Your mind, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference to give it another data point so that, that it can move you in that direction. So you have already lived this day magnificently. I hope you have your five things. If you have more, fantastic. The more clearly you see it, most importantly, the more clearly you receive it emotionally, you feel it. You feel that certainty that you can leave it like that. The more likely it's going to be. Please carry those with you. And now it's your opportunity to embrace your power. It is within your power as the director of your intentions because you have set the intentions for the day. This You can already see how you have lived this day successfully. You have given your subconscious mind some additional data points as the director of your intentions. Now it is your job. 
today, starting now, immediately you leave this meeting. It's your job to guide your life with a clear purpose. And this clear purpose builds up towards a, bl a blueprint. And I want to give you two questions from the chapter that we just read. Each of the chapters in this book has two segments. There is the first segment that is called the Safari Inquiry, which is meant to increase your self-awareness. The second part is called the daily intentionality commitments. So I want us to just take one, only one of, uh, of them. And the one that I want us to look at is, let's just take the first one. And I would like you to write this down so that you can complete it after we are done. So the first of the seven in the Safari inquiry is blueprint creation. The question is, what elements do I need in my life blueprint? Please write down that question. You will grapple with it after we are done. And that means the what you need in each of these areas. What elements do I need in my life blueprint? And this is the beginning of creating a life blueprint. There are six more questions, all of them geared towards helping you figure out what your life blueprint needs to look like so that you can create it and begin to live by it. So that is the Safari Inquiry. And then we cross over to the daily intentionality commitments. I think um, we'll still go with the first go with the first one of the seven. So the first one is commit to blueprint development. So the Safari inquiry raises your awareness about what you need. The daily intentionality commitments they give you the pathway to commit so that you can take action. So number one which is the one we will look at. We don't have time to look at all of them. And I'm just giving them to you so that you can reflect on them. The commit to blueprint development. The quest, The prompt is, I will build a blueprint. I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity. I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity by. I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity by. How will you do it and there's a reason why i ended up phrasing it like that because i had a different phrasing before that whose response was i will build a blueprint but now this takes you beyond you will build the blueprint and you're building one that reflects your desired identity by doing what by leaving how by reflecting on what by seeking what resources by the uh, spending how much time it's uh, it creates for you an opportunity to become more specific so this is a quick review for you especially those who are still new so the daily reset you will see at the end is going to have ingredients and when we get there you will have about two minutes to make sure you jot down responses to each of these ingredients and then you will carry that with you through the rest of the day Remember to complete this run, the tapes for March. You can't finish it in two, three minutes. It's going to take you a lot more time. We will keep doing this the rest of the week. We are going to have more daily reset this, this week just so that we can really ramp up our readiness for the rest of the month. Remember to carry the emotion that you activated. And if you did not activate, even if you don't remember the exact words on this uh, declaration of intentionality, try and really activate a new fresh emotion so that from beyond this meeting, you feel differently than you felt before you, from the time you woke up before this meeting. You carry an emotion that sets you on a pathway to begin to actually live and act differently the rest of this day. Complete the mindful day creation so that you create the end before you begin. You, you create the day before you begin the day and you see it emotionally, mentally, you, you receive it, you truly receive it in feeling form and then you go ahead and leave it. And today your role is the director. And as the director, it is your job to guide your life with a clear purpose. Remember, our purpose is to begin to manifest the blueprint that is designed for us the blueprint that is the pathway for us to live and create an identity, a legacy, and leave behind a trail that matches what was designed for us to pursue. And now that brings us to the daily reset. So go ahead and write down your responses. 
please get ready to share on the chat box and I will let you know when you can do that. So you have, I will give you 45 seconds so that you can complete the rest of this on your own. You'll complete the rest of these on your own. I'll give you 45 seconds to do that. I'll give you 45 seconds. Esther is asking about the last question. So the last question, which is part of the daily intentionality commitment from uh, Embody, shift your mindset in just 30 days. The prompt is, I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity by, and you, need, you should be able to give it a minimum of five specific responses. And they don't have to be huge things. It's specific things that you can actually do beginning today. I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity by, one of the easiest steps is just attend the daily reset. I attend the daily reset, complete the reflections, and then pick from those things, practical things that you can do. We will delve into this, this, uh, in this uh, reflections them by themselves separately in a different program. But for now, just see what you can come up with. I will build a blueprint that reflects my desired identity by. So Esther and anyone else who hadn't caught it, that is uh, the intentionality commitment and the safari inquiry that I shared is what elements, that's the question, the first question under safari inquiry, what elements do I need in my blueprint? What elements do I need in my blueprint? And this question applies to both those who have a blueprint already, so that you really think whether you have all the elements you need, and those who don't have, this is the first question to creating a clear blueprint. And the question is important because before you begin to search on the internet and speak to other people and read in books and listen to tapes and watch videos, you first of all need to be able to connect with what's in your heart about what kind of blueprint would matter for you. What kind of blueprint will create for you the kind of life that you want to live. That brings us to about uh, 40, 45 seconds, almost a minute. And that is our opportunity to go to the very last slide this month. We will go through the four agreements. And the first agreement for this week is I will be impeccable with my word. You will be impeccable with your word. And remember, word here is not just the spoken word. In fact, the you should you should be able to replace that word, the word word with mental images. Uh, feelings, responses, particularly as they relate to yourself. Everything that we end up speaking is preceded by an emotion or a mental image. So the word is not just a word, the physical word, the sound that you hear. The sound you hear, the word that is verbalized is preceded by something deeper, something emotional. And so let's, let's see, just very quickly, please go to the chat box. We will finish up within another five minutes or less. Go to the chat box and share with us. Go to the chat box and share with us one way that you have already lived today successfully. One way. And then share with us one of the pillars of the daily reset. Just one of the pillars of the daily reset. You might choose permission or intention or focus or claiming or releasing. Just share one of those. And then, of course, one of the ways, one of the things you did or the ways you carried yourself, the ways you responded, what you experienced that was that made the day magnificent. So share one of those and then one piece from the daily reset. If we can do that quickly, we will be done and out of here ready to begin this day and live beyond fool's day and live it like a day that matters. Right, Fanny's are giving, do you mind making it more specific, Fanny's? Slightly, the giving, like giving what specifically to who uh, and how? Just 
that is the one place to actually be really descriptive and so that I should be able to when you tell me that what you gave and how you give like in one sentence I should be able to visualize it and intention so where does that intention uh fall Fanny's does it uh in which of the four pieces if you can just type one of those whole pieces today my focus is type the whole sentence today I am claiming type if you, whichever you choose type the the whole thank you Fanny's for being the first one just giving you an opportunity to to be even more clear for the rest of the audience but also for yourself right Esther by waking up when my mind was really resisting because of a long and tiring day yesterday yes just by waking up just by being on the daily reset whatever time you joined whether it was exactly 5 30 whatever time just before 6 a.m you are already in this space you have already started a magnificent day and set a tone for uh, this month foundation of the daily reset setting intentionality right i would encourage you to make it more uh, specific but i i see what you mean and thank you gladys today i treated myself kindly i love it i love it i can see that gladys and today i permit myself to imagine greatness today i'm releasing self-doubt thank you for giving us a bonus gladys <laughs> give us two i love them thank you and today my focus is safety that is florence thank you florence for that what in which ways which way which specific way did you live this day successfully shalene mindful day i honestly reflected on the first quarter and picked meaningful lessons from it Yes, thank you, Shaleen. I can see that. I can ask you at the end of the day, show me and you have something tangible. And if you can do that the rest of this week, you will have squeezed so many lessons from the first quarter. And Shaleen says in terms of uh, the daily set, I permit myself to move to my next level. I love it. it. This is an opportunity to actually do that, to commit for the next three months. You are seeking your next level. David, the win, taking courage to wake up and start using my time wisely this month. I love it. I love it. Using time wisely, I can look at the end of the day and ask you, so what happened? You outlined for me and I can tell whether or not you are able to fulfill it. And David says, my focus today is to be purposeful. Thank you. I love it. James Mogwe of Wambu Creation says, I moved with purpose. I love it. Moved with purpose. I would add a specific piece with regards to moved uh, in, in certain particular, you can specify it's, this is, this is the funny thing about intention. When you specify one narrow area deeply, that depth spreads to all the other areas. It's like a, it's like a mugumo tree having one deep root. The deep root never comes on its own. It comes along with other roots. So when you narrow one area down and define it really clearly, that clarity becomes a feature that the mind replicates everywhere else. But thank you, Dave, uh, James, uh, for that. And James says, today, I permit myself to shape my reality with purpose. I see what you did there. <laughs> they like it. You went and picked from the, the declaration of intentionality and you picked one of the most beautiful lines in there that I really love. So James says, today, I permit myself to shape my reality with purpose. Fanny's has uh, revised hers and giving my time to family and loved ones despite wanting to be just alone. Oh my goodness. You just went and really knocked it out of the park. You made it so beautiful. Today, my intention is to give. Okay. You have really knocked it out. That is deep. That is really, really narrow and specific. And you have put all of them together in such a way that they amplify each other. Jacqueline says, today, my focus is to get my son a private tutor for maths and chemistry, a physical tutor, not a virtual. Okay, you really specified because we were going, you know, I could have thought, okay, so are you signing him up for a Zoom tutor? Thank you for that specificity, Beth says. It's a new month and woke up with high spirits. Yeah, if that by itself sets you for a new day and the better the first day is, the better the rest of the week will be. And uh, Beth says today, I permit myself to blossom. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. I love it. Dr. Lydia says, I permit myself to commit to the breakthrough challenge and I have intentionality, intentionally created time for this by claiming my time and power back from so many activities that have been uh, decided externally. That is as specific as it comes. Oh my, thank you. <laughs> that is as specific. It's defined such that I can clearly see it. And says today, my intention is to be effective in everything. I love it. I love it. And I would narrow down to something specific and then that can, so that especially things that are at the beginning of the day, because if you do that, then that your subconscious mind will carry it. It doesn't, it, it doesn't uh, distinguish all these factors, these uh, act, other activities. You just need to carry it something specific so that when you are doing it, you know, and particularly the things that happen at the beginning of the day. Sylvia, the lady with the vertical screen says, I took in elements of nature and noticed the magnificence of God's creation. Yes. Yes, yes. I spent yesterday afternoon uh, walking around in nature and it was one of the most refreshing things I've done. And I'm glad that I did it at the end of quarter one. By tomorrow, I carry that energy. And today, Sylvia says, I am claiming adventure. These are all beautiful. All right, we are not done. There's one more. Uni says, mindful day. I have a peaceful day and was in control of my emotions. I love it. That is a really important component of controlling your emotions. And Eunice says, today my intention is gratitude. Wow. And of course, she gives us a bonus. She says, that's Eunice. In the new month, I choose to move to the next level. At that point, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for showing up for the daily reset on 1st April 2024. Mary has as I dropped as one more bonus down there. Mary says, my intentions are to make sure that I am obedient and present in the remaining breakthrough challenge days. That's probably what we needed to wrap up. We have one more month remaining in the 90 day breakthrough challenge. It's going to be the best part as long as each of us does our part. That is the daily reset, 1st April 2024, the beginning of quarter two. And this quarter has no idea who is coming for it. This quarter has no idea who is coming for it. I will see you again tomorrow for daily reset. And we will tackle a different chapter of Embody. This, this, is, this is not a book. This is a workbook primarily. This is my copy. And I, I need to ask the author to sign it for me. <laughs> Yes, but the questions in here, I took time, more time designing the questions than I than I took writing the content because it is supposed to be a tool, and this is living on my table, it's supposed to be a tool that helps me move, literally move to the next level. And it's shift your mind in, in mindset in just 30 days. It's intentionally meant to be worked through uh, in one month. So tomorrow we will tackle a different chapter Come ready. If you have a copy, fantastic. If you don't have a copy, I would encourage you. You can. You will still get. You will still enjoy the the sessions, but you won't get the full benefit until you have this piece. I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Dr. Job Mogire from the House of Mastery.